This is part three in a series of videos in which I'm attempting to repair a Mimi 802 vintage computer. In the previous part I got as far as identifying what I thought was a strange wiring fault um, that I can only assume was made at the time of manufacture and that is that the two ground wires that should run from the PCB to the power supply were only connected at the PCB end at the power supply end while they were connected to the plug um, on the board itself they didn't go anywhere so that was kind of uh, a little bit strange and uh, I've done a bit of uh, digging around and uh, sure enough it looks like this is uh, an issue um, with the configuration of the power supply if we look carefully we can see that there are some uh, jumpers in these positions and uh, there are spaces for two more jumpers and I believe that jumper 6 which is this one should also be fitted and the reason I believe it should be fitted, uh, we'll just quickly run through this. So this is the schematic for this supply. Uh, there are four power supplies on this board. And firstly we have common, which is on uh, pins, starting from the top, is on pins uh, 5, 6 and 7. Uh, pin 4 is the pin that the two ground wires are connected to that go through to the uh, main PCB. And if we look at the configuration of this power supply, we'll see that uh, what's designated here as V1 uh, there's a little um, symbol table here saying what each one is so V1 is 12 volts at uh, 2.5 amps and there are two pins for that and they're referenced to the three common pins and V2 which is the next two pins up are 5 volts at up to 6 amps and say so there are two pins and again they're referenced to the three ground pins and they're the ones that go off directly to the floppy drive connectors uh, and they were fine, they were giving the right voltages. Uh, we then have uh, a couple more outputs, we have V3 which is shown as 5 volt at half an amp and on the schematic uh, this particular um, supply is this one and it's floating and the way it uh, should be connected I believe is there should be a link that goes from uh, this pin uh, which is pin 4 uh, through to uh, common. So in other words, that's jumper 6. Uh, so this dotted line here represents jumper 6. Uh, and then we have the fourth uh, supply is uh, 12 volts at half an amp and that's the uh, top two connectors. And on the wiring loom there is a link on the uh, plug that goes from uh, pin 2 to pin 5. So uh, that all makes sense, it just means that um, ground on the 12 volt supply is connected uh, directly through to common uh, via the wiring loop. Uh, but without this link um, there is no uh, connection uh, to ground. Yeah. So this dotted line here is the uh, wire that comes from the floppy drive connector it goes directly to common and the bottom dotted line is the wire that goes through to the PCB uh, that's the ground wire that goes through to the PCB but as you can see at this end it's only connected to the positive terminal of the 5 volt supply but because the negative of the 5 volt supply isn't connected to anything then this pin is effectively floating which means that this ground line is floating as well uh, so what we need to do is fit this link so all I have to do is fit jumper 6 I believe it should have been in there to start with it hasn't been removed if we look over on the back of the board it's uh, this position so it's between these two points and you can see there's nothing been removed that's uh, just manufacturing um, this is how it would look immediately after um, a solder flow uh, process so it's not I don't believe it's been removed I just think it was emitted or this is a replacement power supply that hasn't been properly configured for this unit so I'll go away I'll fit this link I'll get the a chassis back on the bench and we'll retest it and see if we're finally getting power going through to the proper connector. Okay so I fitted the jumper, it's jumper 6 that you can hopefully see and that will now connect the two ground wires going to the main PCB through to the uh, master common on the uh, power supply unit so that's across this point, uh, these two points here. I'll get this refitted to the chassis and we'll retest it and see if we're getting power going down the power cable. Okay, I've got the power supply reassembled. As we saw, the link is now fitted. 
got it all reconnected to the chassis and uh, I obviously do not have the floppy drive plugged in but I do have a dummy load um, plugged in because without the floppy drive there this is needed for the power supply to operate correctly. So what I'll do now is um, power up the machine. I have tested it and buzzed it through with an ohmmeter. We'll just uh, prove that. Uh, so I'll switch it on. And what we should have on this connector is from ground to the orange wire we should have uh, 5 volts which we do and to the other pin we should have 12 volts which again we do. I'll leave the uh, ground lead plugged into uh, this terminal that's our ground reference point and now looking at this connector which is the one that uh, previously we didn't have any power going to uh, before we did have a reading on here referenced to this point because that was actually referenced to ground and so that was reading fine before um, but what we didn't have is anything if I use the ground reference on this connector so what we should now have if I try not to block the camera is on this connector if we go from ground I should now have 5 volts which I do and it was reading nothing before it was just floating and then we should have 12 volts and we should have minus 12 volts which we do so there we're all now fine uh, they're at the connector I've checked the main board so what I'll do now is get this plugged into the main board and I'll try powering up the board for the first time okay so I have it all plugged in I haven't bothered putting these ribbon cables in just yet they only go to the back panel and uh, there's nothing plugged into the other end of the floppy drive cable but I have checked everything else I have taken the DRAM out and tested those I know that um, the ROM works I've uh, read that just to make sure I've got an image of the code before I do anything else I've done some basic checks on the board to make sure there are no shorts um, but that's as far as I've gone so I'll now try and power it up um, I'll be checking the supply voltages and the current that's drawn and uh, we'll see what happens Okay, so what I'll do is I'll move the camera and uh, we'll have a look at the monitor. Okay, so that's a very good sign. We've got some life on the screen. It's going as far as uh, trying to read the floppy drive. There is no floppy drive plugged in, of course, um, but it is up and it's able to produce images on the monitor, which means that the system is running. It means that both boards are working because the monitor is connected to the second board. And uh, what I can do in the next video is get on, connect the floppy drive and see if we get any success booting to this machine.